All right, so to go along with Mrs. O'Reilly's pirate theme, I thought we could stick with something kind of oceany themed, and I have some pi uh, pirate artwork videos um, that another artist shared on her blog, and I'll send that over to you guys as well. But so for this um, project, we're gonna make some shiny uh, underwater creatures. We could make some fish. I'm actually gonna do a mermaid tail here, and then I'll show you how to make some um, like an ocean background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a piece of um, aluminum foil to make it shiny, and then I'm gonna use some Sharpies. Um, regular markers won't work on this. If you don't have Sharpies, you can do this whole thing just on a regular piece of paper with regular markers or crayons or colored pencils or whatever else you have. But to draw on the foil and to make it nice and shiny, you do have to have permanent markers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my shape, whatever you're gonna do. So you could draw a fish first. If you wanna do a fish, you could draw seaweed, you could draw a crab, you could draw a jellyfish, whatever you're gonna draw for your underwater creature. For mine, um, I'll do that mermaid tail. So I'm just gonna draw a mermaid tail. And I'm just gonna kind of sketch it out. If you want, you could look it up on um, a Google image search and just look up you know, mermaid tail shape or you could look up fish um, drawing, something like that. So this is really light and I chose a light color because the Sharpies actually erase each other, which is kind of weird. But as I go, I if I used black for this first one, the black would kind of mix in and erase into the other colors um, that I'm gonna use and I don't want that to happen. So I started with a light color, just so if it does mix in, it doesn't make it a, a mess. So the next thing I'm gonna, gonna do is I'm gonna kind of plan out my colors. I wanna do kind of a rainbow uh, mermaid tail. So I'm gonna start with kind of a pink, head to orange, then to yellow, and then I'll head into my kind of my greens and blues. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna do just some pink and it does not have to be super in the lines because I'm gonna cut this out later. So if I get outside the lines, um, I can just cut it out nice and evenly where I want it. So just some pink down first. And then the fun part about this is that the colors are gonna kind of mix and blend together. So I can kind of do my next color and mix it into the pink and let the colors kind of blend together a little bit. And then I'll go to some orange. Then yellow. Mommy. What's up, bud? Um. Then I can go to regular green. I'm gonna kind of make. What is this going? Of, what is this right here? From? It's just a pencil. Um, then I'll have obviously my son Charlie sitting right next to me, and he's helping me out with my recordings. So I'll go into regular green next. Kind of blend that green into that light green. And then I think for my last color, I'm gonna do. All those little spaces filled in. I'll go to kind of a light blue. And then just to finish my rainbow out, maybe I can squeeze some purple in there. Yeah, we can squeeze a little bit of purple in there. So we'll do this purple. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go back and I wanna add some details and I wanna add some scales. So I'm gonna take a darker color. This is kind of a dark blue that I'm gonna use. It looks black kind of on the camera, but it's a um, dark blue. And I'm just gonna outline. Maybe I'll add kind of like this little point down here. 
So if you were doing a fish, you would do it the same way. You'd draw, here's my fish from earlier. You'd draw the whole fish first in kind of a light color. And then at the very end, you can go back and outline um, all your details. I'll show you what would happen if I outlined first and tried to color second. Hold on. So I'm just going to outline all this. Mommy. Yeah. Um, and then I'll draw some lines here for the fins. Can I show them what? And then maybe up here I'll draw kind of um, the top of the tail. And I'll add some scales. Like how do you, how do we see that from way over there from your computer? From my computer? Yeah. Like this. Okay, and then I can go all the way down and have some mermaid scales going all the way down my fish, my mermaid tail here. Okay? And you can go all the way down. So if, let me show you real quick, if I did a little smiley face like this, and then I wanted to color that poor little smiley face in, let's say yellow, when I go to color him, look what's gonna happen. Whoa, his little smiley face went away. And now my yellow kind of got yucky. So I can just clean it off. I can just spin it around on a little spot. Um, that I don't need. But if I wanted to do a smiley face like that, I would just start with yellow. And then on top of the yellow, I can draw my smiley face. And he looks just fine that way. So that's what happens if you draw with a dark color first. All right, so the next thing I would do with this is I would cut it out. So I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and cut right along the outside edge. And you just have to cut slowly because the foil will want to kind of rip. If it does rip, that's fine. When you are done cutting it out, you can just glue it back together. It's not a big deal. So you can go all the way around and the aluminum foil kind of sharpens your scissors, which is a good thing too. So you can go all the way around, cut out your mermaid tail. The next thing I want to show you is how you can paint a background. So I'll take just a piece of white paper, Mommy. put a little blue spot on there. Hey, Mommy. Yep. Um. And then I've got some water. I already did one of these so I can show you what it looks like when it's all done. And then I've got some can watercolors. This, can, now, I, can I see this? Yep, hold on. Um, with the watercolors, um, if you don't have watercolors, if you have some other kind of paint, you could try this with another kind of paint. But this particular technique I'm about to show you in a minute um, works really well with with a lot of water with watercolors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a lot of water and I'm gonna use all kinds of sea colors. So a little bit of blue and turquoise, even a little bit of purple. I'm just putting a little bit of water on each of those. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip in and I'm just gonna cover this in um, kind of oceany colors. But I'm, I want it to be very wet, almost puddly. I don't want it to be so wet that the paper is going to rip and I don't I want to do this fast because I'm if I'm making the paper this wet and I if I keep scrubbing on it in the same Mommy. spot it Mommy. will end up ripping the paper. Hang Mommy. on, bud. Hang on. So, after I get a lot a lot a lot of paint on here, I can take a couple other I can do a couple other tricks. So I, again, a lot of water and a lot of paint. So it's gonna be very, very puddly. Little purple down there. And you can see the colors kind of blend together. So a couple tricks I can use. Hang on, bud. Saran wrap is my first one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm gonna take a little piece. <laughs> Get your hand out of it. I'm gonna take a little piece of saran wrap. Here, you can put it down for me. Ready? Okay. It's good to have this ready to go. And we're just going to take it and we're going to put it on and just kind of crumple it up a little bit. Crumple, crumple, crumple. And do you see all these cool little lines it makes? That's, it's going to dry that way. The other thing we can do, and let me make sure I have it wet enough and colorful enough up here. 
So up in this corner, what I think we'll do, I'm just gonna add a little water because I moved quite fast enough. Up here, I'm gonna take a little bit of salt and I'm gonna sprinkle the salt right up in that corner. Go ahead, you can sprinkle. So not too much because we have to get it off of there later, but you can see that the, um, that's good. You can see that the color all kind of goes around, <laughs> cheater. You can see the color all goes around the salt. So we'll let that dry, but what's gonna happen, hold on bud, what's gonna happen to that is it will look like this once it's dry. And when we pull that off, go ahead, pull this piece off. You can see it left all these little watery marks and you can brush off, preferably over the trash. Wait, this is still a little wet. You can brush off the salt and it's gonna leave little marks. So those are two watercolor techniques that you can use to make it look a little bit more oceany. Mommy, can yep. I show them my can can? Your what? Can can. I don't know what you're saying, bud. And so now you can take your um, fish that you made out of aluminum foil. Look at this guy ripped a little bit, but that's okay. Because if you glue him down, you'll never notice that he ripped. And then I can take my mermaid tail. Finish cutting that out real quick. And you could put this down right alongside of it. So this I could do right at the edge so that it looks like all you can see. Hey. So all you can see is the tail, so it, maybe it looks like the mermaid is diving in. Or you could do it like this. You could do it like this. And you could maybe add some kind of white right here to make it look like a splash. So it looks like the mermaid's splashing into the water. So you can hold it this way. So it looks like the mermaid's um, sticking her tail out of the ocean. So any way you want to do that, you can make different um, under undersea uh, creatures. And you can kind of put them onto your ocean watercolor scene. Have fun with this one. Mommy.